Hello guys and welcome to Till Vacuum Do Us Part and welcome to some really deep cleaning motivation. I'm going to be working on my entire house. This isn't your just normal like daily cleaning, keeping things looking nice. This is like those areas you forget about or you don't want to clean. So if you're needing some cleaning motivation, today is the video for you. If you're new here, I would love for you to click that red subscribe button down below. But now let's go ahead and jump straight into today's video. We're starting right here in my laundry room. This is a space that just gets really dirty. We come in and out of here every time we leave the house or come home. This is where we do dirty laundry, all my dog's stuff's in here. So I feel like it just gets really dirty and dusty so it needed a really good deep clean. I always forget to clean like underneath the cushion we had in here. It was custom made by my dad. I don't clean the top often but it doesn't get very dirty but occasionally when I have the vacuum out I will just run over it but I'm really bad about like removing that cushion and cleaning underneath it. And as you could see, there was a lot of dust and dirt and hair and all of that. Same goes for these cubbies like down below and up high, even in my closet. Um, I feel like stuff just gets in and behind them and they just need to be cleaned out ever so often. I feel like we all have spots like these in our house. So if you have that spot that you haven't cleaned for a while, definitely go get it done today. I'm gonna grab my Jaws wood cleaner and go ahead and spray out these cubbies. I know I just vacuumed them out and it got it really clean, but I wanna make sure and get anything else that's in there. If I've taken the time to pull out all these like baskets and bins, I might as well go ahead and get a good deep clean. So like I said, I'm gonna vacuum and spray clean it. Just a tip, if you have anything sticky um, on any of your like painted items, like cabinets or tables, you can use this Barkeeper's Friend and it is so good about removing so many different things. But I always tape up like holiday banners in here, whether it's like Christmas or the 4th of July. And I noticed there was like a lot of like sticky gunk up here. So just by putting that on there and using a cloth, it cleaned it right up. Another thing that the barkeeper's friend is good for is like any scuffs on your painted surfaces. So maybe like a belt keeps hitting a cabinet um, in your bathroom or at your kitchen sink or there's stuff in your laundry room. Basically just grab that barkeeper's friend and it buffs it right out. So this has saved me so many times from having to repaint items. So definitely try this out before repainting. But now I'm gonna go ahead and start putting all of these bins back in and now that everything's nice and clean. As always, my supervisor is always watching me. Sometimes he's behind the camera so you can't see him, but he did present himself there. He is making sure I'm doing everything that's supposed to be done and making sure I'm not slacking at all. Now, 
now I'm gonna go ahead and work on our washer and dryer, like that side of our mud room, which is like the laundry room side of it. Um, a company sent me this spray polish and it came in my P.O. box and so I reached out to them. I'm trying to like get a coupon code for you guys, but I haven't heard back from them yet. But I'm like loving this stuff. I had never heard of it before. Um, it just cleans so well. It does have a different smell to it. Like it's not a nice smell. It's kind of more of that like chemical smell, but it just buffs out so well. Like it works so well on like my doors, my appliances, and especially my stainless steel like refrigerator and a stove, a microwave, it just makes them look so clean. I really had to work on my shelves. I didn't realize how dusty they had been getting, I think because we opened up this door to go out to the garage. And I'm not like eye level with them. I'm short and so I can't see them. So I had not realized how dirty they were getting. So I'm glad I got that done. Um, the next thing I'm gonna go and work on are our floors. So just in case you don't know this, I'm sure you do, but always work like top to bottom. If you were to go in and clean your floors and then go dust something, or your shelves or clean something, everything's gonna end up back on the floor. So always start up high if you're gonna be working on lights or tops of cabinets, whatever the highest thing you're gonna be cleaning, start there and then work your way down. So now I'm just gonna finish vacuuming and then I'm gonna take a damp cloth and just go ahead and wipe down all my baseboards. They were pretty dusty as well. And I just wanted to make sure I cleaned everything in the space. A little bit time to I talk about a lot of products here on this channel, especially when it comes to cleaning because I'm always trying out new products for you guys and giving you guys my opinion. Um, this is one of those things I can't imagine not having now. So it's like a mop and vacuum in one. I didn't even know I needed it until I started using it. Um, I had my original mop for so many years. I felt like it worked really well. But the bigger my house got, it was getting harder to keep my floors clean, especially with George, he sheds a little bit. Um, or just if you're older, or you just don't wanna spend a ton of time cleaning, it's so nice that I can like vacuum and mop at the same time. Um, so if you're needing something like that in your life, I'm gonna go ahead and link it down below. It is a little bit of a splurge. Get it for like Christmas or your birthday or Valentine's Day or something, but I promise you, you won't regret it. My floors stay so much cleaner now that I have it. It's always so rewarding to look at a space when you're done doing a deep clean. You just see all the rewards <laughs> from your hard labor. You may be hot, you may be sweaty, but when you walk past that room and it's just nice and clean and tidy, it's just always so worth it. But now we're gonna head on to our next space, which is in my living room. Now my living room doesn't need a major deep clean. It stays clean for the most part, but my sectional did. I love this sectional, I get asked about it every single day so i'm gonna link it down below in the description box for you but i'm gonna go ahead and wash it i've done this before and it held up really well here's some tips just in case you're gonna wash your sectional um like pillow covers or cushion covers take them off and then go ahead and zip up the zipper so they don't turn inside out or the threads don't get loose so i'm taking them off and then zipping it up and then i'll give you some more tips as we go but you can do this in sections if it's easier like do all the top cushions and and then all the bottom or if you just want to get everything off at once so you can get it clean that's how I did it this time
definitely going to shout these before I put them in the washer. I want to make sure if there's any stains or spills or anything, I'm spot treating that before they go in the washer. Um, I was trying to fit them all in at once because I have a really large washer, but they weren't going to fit. So I went ahead and decided to do all the bottoms. That way when they were done washing and drying, I could put them on all the bottom cushions. And then when the next load finished, I could put them on the top cushion. So it's just giving somewhat of a structure so I didn't have all different types of pillow covers trying to figure out where they go. Since this is a deep clean, I'm gonna go even a step further. I'm not just gonna wash all the covers. I'm also going to vacuum out underneath them. I honestly did not realize how bad it had gotten in here. We do eat a lot on our sofa. And then these also have like down feathers in them. So I could tell some of them were like coming out. So it definitely needed some love and attention. So it was so nice to get this space and area and furniture clean. I know starting projects like this can be overwhelming. This was something that was filmed over three days. Now it wasn't three full days, but it was just when I had extra time in that day, I tackled a project. It's really hard to find time to give up like a whole day of cleaning and you may not have the motivation or energy to do it. I will say it helps if you jump on and watch videos like this or from someone else's channel. It really does get you motivated to be ready to clean before you tackle a huge project like this because it is exhausting. It's hot here in Oklahoma, so I'm hot. I've been working, I've been with Savannah, you know, our lives are busy. So definitely just do what you can, tackle projects when you have time, but don't um, set yourself up for failure. Don't try to like deep clean your entire house if it's huge and you're busy the entire day. Just pick one thing to do. Also, just another tip, if you're gonna be drying your covers like I am, set it on delicate, low heat. Um, you can even stick them outside if you have the time, but you don't wanna put these on high heat and leave them in there forever because they will shrink. So definitely just be careful, keep an eye on them. Don't like start the dryer and leave, just watch them and be super careful. I did wanna show you that I wasn't using like my liquid detergent when I was cleaning these. You definitely can, but I feel like for stuff like this, my powdered Tide just cleans them better and it's something that I'm not gonna be cleaning often, so I wanna make sure they get a really good deep clean. But now we're gonna go back to the sectional. So now we're washing the covers, we're drying them, I vacuumed it. There's still a lot of areas that have material on them that I can't put in the washers. So that's when I love products like this one. This is another machine that I can't imagine living without. It just makes cleaning up like Tiger and George's messes and spot cleaning, all that kind of stuff. I use it out in my car all the time and it's so easy to use. So I can link this one for you as well. That way my entire sectional is getting clean now. Cleaning areas like the armrest, those get super dirty and you probably can tell, like mine's a little bit darker on those areas where like hands are touching it. 
Another spot you might be forgetting is where your dogs lean against it, like Tiger and George will lean against um, our sectional and those areas get really dirty as well. And those are spots on sofas or couches or chairs that you can't really clean unless your um, furniture is like a big slip cover, like mine's not. So it's always nice to pull this out and just get it nice and clean again. Also, while I can see my nails right here, I know I'm gonna get a ton of comments about them and questions. It's not like me to have a color on my nails, but I was living on my wild side. They are my red Aspen um, press on nails. I love them, they last two to three weeks. They're about $13, you can reuse them. So I'm gonna have my link down below in the description box if you're wanting something like that. I absolutely love my red Aspen nails. I don't enjoy going to the salon. And honestly, when I used to go, I never left happy. I would show them a picture of like exactly what I wanted and I would leave the salon and they never looked like them and I would get so mad because nails are so expensive now. So if you want to know exactly what you're going to get um, and they're affordable and easy to do, my nieces wear them, Savannah wears them, everybody uses them and they're just amazing, um, you can click that link down below in my description box. And just so you know, I'm not saying anything against nail salons. If you go to have it done, do it. I spent years, decades in the nail salon. I'm not saying I'll never go back. I just enjoy this more right now. If you need that downtime and want to pamper yourself, go for it. Um, it's just this phase of life. It just works so much better for me right now. As you can see, I did bring back up in now that we're starting to put the covers back on. It is not the easiest task to do and it can take a while. So if you can just like tag team it, it makes it so much easier. Definitely make sure you're putting the covers on the right um, cushions. Not that we did that, but just so you know, make sure you're checking it and they're fitting right. Um, and here is what it looks like with the bottom cushions. I'm letting the top ones dry and you're gonna see in a second that we're gonna start putting those on but it made it look so much cleaner, it feels so much cleaner, and it smells so much better. So I know this is a huge chore to tackle, but if you haven't done this in a while, definitely work on it soon. Now that project is finished, so we're gonna be moving on to the next one, which is cleaning my kitchen cabinets. They're getting a little dirty. I will say if you don't have any powdered Tide detergent in your house, grab some. I use this stuff all the time, but it only takes a little bit. So the tub that I bought is lasting forever. I've even shared some, I've given it in jars to other people. So it's going to last you a really long time. So just keep that in mind when you see the price, because it seems like a lot, but it's gonna last. Um, so I'm just mixing it in with some hot water in my sink, and this is how I'm gonna wipe down all my cabinets. I've cleaned my car with this. You can clean fabric, because you guys gotta think it's just like laundry detergent. But basically, you can clean anything you want with this. It cleans so well, and it makes your house smell like fresh laundry. So if you don't have this yet, grab some now. Cause I got you by my side. When I 
have this rag out and I have the tied water in the sink, I like to just start cleaning everything. So I clean the cabinets, but now I'm gonna go ahead and clean the countertops just because it's so nice to get them all done at once. Um, this is even a good time to clean your backsplash, even doors around your house, handles, <laughs> any of that stuff you can get done. With everything that you do, I make so much progress when I'm here with you. You hold all the pieces, all of me in your hands. When you're cleaning your refrigerator, be sure to like open the doors and drawers and clean those areas. I feel like those get missed in the creases. Also like where your water comes out, there's buildup, your handles and behind your handles. I feel like all those spaces get really dirty. So don't just clean the door of the fridge, clean all of those spaces. And now I'm gonna go ahead and deep clean my sink as well. I am gonna work on my microwave, but I will say I don't have to clean this area near as often now that I got my magnetic uh, microwave like play cover. I'll have that linked down below as well. It has been a game changer. When it wasn't magnetic, when I just bought one that you would just set on your food or set on your counter, people would always forget to put it in there. But now it's like magnetic to your top, so it's always in there. So even if they forget to like cover their plate, it's still protecting like the top of your microwave. So that's been a huge game changer for me. It's super affordable. It saves me from scrubbing this microwave all the time and that is a win for me. Savvy's bathroom is one of those areas that I'm not cleaning personally all that often. She is really good and takes care of it. I mean, she's preteen girl, she's 12, so there's like skincare out, there's shoes, there's clothes sometimes from changing, but she is good about not letting it just get like gross and dirty. But I will say our definitions of deep cleaning is probably different because she's a 12 year old girl. So occasionally I like to come in here and just do a deep clean myself. Plus it's just nice for her to come into a clean space. My mom was always good and would clean my room and our bathrooms. I mean, we had chores, but she was good about occasionally going there and cleaning it for us. And it was just so nice to walk into a clean space. Even at the young age of like 12 and 13 and all those years, I enjoyed having areas clean. Um, so I like to come in here and occasionally and just do a deep clean and just have it nice and sparkly that she gets to walk into. I have two products when it comes to cleaning bathrooms. Um, it's my Jaws, so they have a Jaws like shower and a Jaws bathroom. One's a spray and one's a foam. The one I'm using right now, you can clearly see is the foam. Another thing that I love having is this brush and I have them underneath all the bathroom sinks and it has Dawn and vinegar in it and it cleans so well. We keep this wand in our shower and just once a week, Chase does it once a week, I do it once a week and it just keeps the shower clean and it's in the little wand. So all you have to do is like pump it, scrub and then rinse it out. 
Um, I rarely, rarely clean a shower um, when I'm outside of it. It's just easier to do when I'm in there so I don't get my hair wet and it's quick and easy. The water's already on. So if you haven't done that hack, definitely try it out. This is the vacuum mop that I was talking about earlier that I love. I use it all the time um, and I can just go from space to space to space. I love seeing how dirty the water gets. It's just super satisfying to me. It makes me realize that I do need to clean my floors more often. And all of my other houses, I was so good about cleaning, like even mopping my floors every single day. And then we got here and there was just a lot more tile versus carpet. So it took a lot longer but with this machine it has sped that time up it makes your house feel cleaner when you have clean floors your house just feels cleaner it smells cleaner so to me you can't like deep clean without cleaning your floors that's probably why my name's till vacuum do his part on here like you need clean floors I love clean floors I love lines I love the house smelling good and this does all those things for me Another area I like to deep clean are the floors in our bedrooms just because our dogs do sleep in the bedroom and Chase has asthma and allergies and so I feel like if I clean our floors in here pretty often he sleeps a lot better so I try to bring this in here pretty often. You can also use this on your rugs for a refresh so it's not going to shampoo it like a shampoo would but it does kind of like wet it and freshen them up so keep that in mind if you have rugs you can't really get super wet. This um, you know vacuum mop works well for that too. I really hope when I make cleaning videos like this, it gets you motivated, it gets you inspired to work on your home. I always hope you just learn something, that you take something away. I never just want to show myself cleaning. I'm trying to give as many tips and tricks along the way of why I'm doing it or how I do it, just so it gives you something to try the next time you're cleaning. And that always makes cleaning just a little more fun. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you're new here, once again, don't forget to click that red subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of my future uploads. I post two new videos on here every single week and then I'm on Instagram most days. So if you wanna see me more active definitely follow me over there as well i hope you guys have a wonderful week and i will see you in the next one bye because all you gotta smash like subscribe click the links down below so i make a time comment say hi hit the bell so i know i'll see you next time smash like subscribe click the links down below so i make a time comment say hi hit the bell so i know i'll see you next time See you next time.